Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on Mission Impossible difficulty with full lethality. And it's time to continue a little bit of a change of plans. I have thought, number one, we're losing militia over here, so we need to retrain that. We're okay here, we're okay here. And we're sort of okay here. So how about we're just making our way to be pieces coastline. Put another bit of militia there <clears throat> and reform that militia. All the while we have trained a full stack militia up here. So we're actually okay on that front. Can't really train them <clears throat> anymore. So they should be able to keep these guys in check. So really what I want to do is uh, go along Done. the coastline. That was kind of easier than I thought it would be. Double check a couple of these sectors, and I will let you know the moment that I find something. Good. First sector, not really anything major to be found. Let's move on north into the savannah and continue. All right, nothing special again, but. Uh, mm, there uh, were footsteps that indicate that during the night uh, someone was stealing water. So I'm just wondering if we could use the time in order to train. Uh, wondering who should train here. Dexterity is actually quite good with most of them. How's agility looking? MD could use some. Ego could train everybody in agility. Health could be something. Light, uh, life wire still. No, wait, she has enough health for the lowest perk, right? 70, 80, 90. Okay, yeah, she does have at least for the bronze perks. She's good. And this here is all looking very good. MD is also fine, so not the biggest concern. Strengths, I know Livewire could definitely use a bit more. And I think every 10, you get an inventory space more and can throw further. So might want to get Barry a bit more in shape, a bit more muscular. Uh, so that could be one thing. Leadership. I don't even have someone who can train it. We we'll try to get to 80 with uh, aim with marksman. It's not a bad idea. Potentially the most important set. Could teach everybody some. Uh, yeah, that's all <clears throat> nice to have once we're good. So marksman, agility, dexterity. These are the ones that I'm worried about. Let's start with dexterity this time. Gains will be slow. Okay, boss, we're at the well. No, boss, we won't be smoking anything. Yes, boss, we'll just pump water and come right back. Fucker. Nice. Okie dokie. Let's ambush them. in attendance better to go unnoticed yeah good we don't know where the enemies are or better how many we're going to fight against there's one enemy i mean a bath will do you good i can smell you from here now stop smoking and give me a head I'm allergic to water. Um, quietly? Like this? This is always the best way to do things. Quiet. Time to sneak and peek. Keeping it on the down low. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? They cannot hit what they cannot see. Honestly, I do not feel it is fair to make me watch over everyone. Shut up, Livewire. I tried this. I'm gonna get played. Oh, I'm 
Good. Let's go for the gunner. <clears throat> Nice. I can try to remain in. I actually managed to sneak up on someone. All right, let's get this guy. <laughs> Good, well that was an easy ambush. Let's go. Collecting a couple of knives and that's pretty much it and we got some experience, but what exactly, what exactly did we get out of it? So treasure at the farms? No, no. No. Dead poachers, that was also not it. Hmm. Well, we're moving. We're could have moving. at least found their their walkie talkie. Sure, we'll get there. And asked their boss where they need to go. Okay, we got a little bit of experience, I suppose. So maybe they are from the nearby camp here, but for Done. starters, that we want to move to here and get the harbor back in action. So let me first of all explore a little bit further and if anything happens, I'll let you know. Good or not so good. Of course, we stepped onto a landmine. Well, fucking fantastic. Let's recover our immediate wounds. Or let's say the tiredness. And I have to wonder, uh, this port here, once we get it under control, will we be able to just party off? I don't want to use that many mats. That's almost a hundred mats just to heal everybody. And I also don't want to go all the way back. So we're, we'll need to go through the next fight with a little bit weaker mercenaries in terms of amount of health available but we only fight against eight enemies so let's prepare for a night with clear weather and a couple of bullets we have no intel for the sector which proceeds bad i should start getting more intel live wire here hide and shoot that is my game moving quietly all right, Barry. Moving quietly. Playing it smooth. Good, we have the high ground here, which generally isn't bad. We have enemy. Keeping it on the down low. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? This is always the best way to do things. Um, quietly? Like this? Ready. Going. Rest of you goes down here. Undetected. I will try to remain hidden. They cannot hit what they cannot see. <laughs> Better to go unnoticed, yeah? <laughs> they cannot hit what they cannot see. Hmm. Yeah, potentially better to have a shot from over here. What? Okay. Quiet. In my sight. Going. 
still undetected. Let the two of you move over. I can't you ever saw me. I sneak up. Moving quietly. Enemy has sight of me. Yeah, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Good hit. Very good hit. Barry moves up, sees more enemies. Takes shot. I like explanation how this occurred. <laughs> it just kills both. All right. Eyes, one, two in the in the rear, three, and just absolutely annihilates him. I will try to remain in. Um, I don't think so. Oh yeah, I think so. Like I said, I very much think so. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Okay, all right, Igor. Listen. <coughs> Hide here. Ready to shoot. I have and headshot in case the guy doesn't move into cover. Try to be quiet. A little bit of reloading. And we're good. These guys are already severely injured after one hit. Okay, something is wrong here. These the, the, those enemies are so much easier than the one in Port Cacao. Gets me thinking. Okay, and this is also not cool. I was hidden. Gets me thinking. Have I maybe moved a bit out of out of line? can you know get him nice two hits two good hits yes on my way ice moves up you straight tripping nah get a headshot <laughs> okay well, maybe I am straight tripping, as you would say. I have good shot of enemy. Oh, but I didn't want to double click that. Uh, ah, that's unfortunate. I now we're with this shot. forced to fight from range. I wanted to go a bit closer with Igor, but thanks to his Winchester, we don't need to. Hello. I am in movement. Need to be careful at position before acting. They cannot hit what they cannot see. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I would have guessed that the enemies are to degree leveled so in a sense as we level up they also level up but apparently that's not the case apparently they are stronger and not so strong enemies and i don't mind that i actually prefer it but i think we have simply started at the wrong end of the island maybe i wasn't supposed to go to port cacao Hit what they cannot see. This would be pointless. 
How would that be pointless? Just take a shot. There you go. MD present. Why would you say something like this would be pointless? Moving. Um, stat. <clears throat> Ready to um do stuff. All right, reload. I do it. And Igor begins to run over. What? All right, this guy is heavily wounded. I don't have a good shot. That she would hit. Playing it smooth. Got the angle to do this quiet and quick. No more enemy exist in region. Follow Igor. Strange. Very, very easy fights here. Sure. Guys are almost not armored. I have spotted a thing that wants an investigate. Yeah, we got a gewehr. We have plenty of gewehrs. Good. good, we found some intel, that's good. Sure, we'll get there. I still don't fully know what intel Word does. Up. Um, we're going, right? Well, hello, mates. Captain Jack Pierrot at your service. Yeah, we're I going to talk to you in a second, Pierrot. Just chill for a bit. With certainty. Aye. Please don't judge me. I was bored. And, uh, I don't advise you to fiddle with Mr. Sandman. We are definitely fiddling with Mr. Sandman. Mr. Sandman, give me your dreams. He's got an ex oh. Now my Sandman is disarmed and defenseless. Please, don't kick him. With certainty. All right, we're not going to kick it. My only pastime here has been to make snowmen out of sand. And those legion ruffians kept coming and I lost my own boats a while back to her natural forces. Nothing more now. Since then, been skippering this beauty you see here. That is, I mean to, once I get her back in the water. Right. See, she's not precisely mine. However, since the previous owner so callously abandoned her here, I have taken it upon myself to become her sort of foster captain. Sabi? If you help me fix her, you can be my first quite reasonably priced charter. Operation available, launch boat. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Okay, how about the three of you combine your strength and the mechanical? On like white on rice. Then Barry does mechanical repair. And we're going to scout the area. Let's go. I bet that was a feat of engineering equal to the feat of stupidity that originally beat this boat. How about we take her for a ride? I promise not to attack any warships that come our way. <laughs> Honestly. Alright, Livewire gets a bit of one-on-one -on -one training just for a couple of minutes.
Good, and we got another sector that is being attacked. Lost a veteran, but got a lot of equipment. Was that down here? Yep. <clears throat> Port Cacao once again is being attacked. Fabulous. Alright. That is finished. I am ready. Good, whilst we're waiting, Ice can help the others to train just a little bit. Discovered info about a nearby event. A girl has been kidnapped from a local brothel in the Pentagrill slums, D7. What's up here? Okay, well, uh, we're going to first go up here and then make our way, but let's keep D7 in mind. I like that. And we do have... We do have a bit of... Oh, wow, we got two extra wounds for that. Well, fantastic. We got a bit more intel, but that's okay. So for now... Let's go over. We need to train. I'm finished with my task. I'm gonna take my 15 minute break now. Good. A couple of operations here, right? Rest and recovery. Basically everyone. That will reduce the wounds. good now nice we got two wound uh, recoveries even that's good then treating wounds we treat ourselves I think that's fine 10 is okay in the meantime militia training uh, and who else Hmm, I'm thinking what do we want to train before we militia train let's say oh wait we do have ammunition crafting available so we got eight bits of ammunition and we definitely need workshop packed standard lots of that NATO standards a bit Good, let's start with Washer Pack Standard. One, two, three, four, five. It's 150 shot, that's good. NATO Standard. Damn it, so many parts. Okay, that's eight. And NATO armor piercing. That's uh, almost all of our parts gone. But we get ammunition in return. Good. Hogbite is training alone. That'll be also two days. And in the meantime, we could go for dexterity. Or marksmanship. I think we're going Dex. On it like white on rice. Good. 
good. Lightwater gets a bit of dexterity, that's fine. We're seeing a lot of attacks being done here, but we should be okay. Wow, that's a lot of loot, which would be sitting here at the mine. Okay. Now we don't want to train the militia again. We could train, continue training uh, dexterity. Which for Igor would be too bad. But we could also start training a different stat. Agility, I think, is the better choice here. Now that MD is available. I hope this test brings glory to the Dolvich family. Yeah, we soon need to train militia down there as well. It's interesting, we can't be at all uh, areas at the same time, right? So, suggestion, we go down here. Retrain the militia, because here we're good again. Sector stash. Very much looks fine. Hmm. Lots of it's, it's just such a uh, such a logistical uh, topic to to conquer the entire map. I would have guessed it's much easier, but it isn't. All right, unload that. Put it into parts. We have plenty of these guns. Um, do we really need this sesh is the question. I mean, we have definitely a lot of guns here. Uh, unload and then get some parts out of it one two three four five and yeah, we even have too many armor pieces I get it we want to be sure that once uh, a new troop comes around we do have at least weapons and so on Unload and get the parts. Uh, yeah. I think we're okay. I'm a bit worried. Uh, we've used a lot of the parts for ammunition. We need to definitely go down here again. Uh, mm, fill up the reserve and then we can continue traveling from here there is definitely some more ammunition uh, here and i'll catch that as well uh, you know what i'll play that behind uh, the scenes uh, and i'll let you know when something else happens look at that such a decisive win city definitely likes us for continuously defending it Okay, so we retrained the militia over here. We retrained uh, the militia over here. It just, yeah, quite uh, literally went all over the place to kind of refill our militia. Takes a long time. 
we are now at 170,000 and I would say let's get a couple more sectors and then maybe what I could do is who is a good trainer because uh, maybe I'm playing it inefficient maybe I need like one mercenary is just there kind of training the entire time let's take a bit of a look so we need someone with leadership um, or someone who's cheap uh, that might be someone who fills both uh, criterias Kalina could also craft ammunition if needed which isn't bad so how about we get her let her let her just train wherever training is needed and then we can move on a bit faster that seems like a reasonable idea I remember you you are the talking computer want to talk some bye bye talking computer good she's with us uh, let's get her to port cacao docks there we can equip her question is do we need to equip her I, I don't know I mean hmm I don't know yet she definitely f serves a purpose uh, for now in the meantime let's move into the middle of nowhere you're here I mean at this particular we had indications that there is a treasure oh and we immediately found goons so always the best way to do things I sneak up what quiet yes and we should shortly check if there are multiple go oh yeah better and grenadier oh yeah oh yeah silently moving I will try to remain hidden better to go unnoticed yeah they cannot hit what they cannot see This is always the best way to do things. Good, you two. Moving quietly. Move over here. You ever saw me. Quiet. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. That's not good. Did I tell you? I am great at hiding. Good, that's good. Hide and shoot. That is my game. That's good as well. Trying to be quiet. I will try to remain hidden. Good, we're going to go back to basics. I want a nice little stealth skill. I am great at hiding. I sneak up. Honor sniper, come on. <laughs> well, not really what I was hoping for. Sniper's almost dead. Oh, wow. Why are you going full auto? Preserve ammunition, dude. You're never going full auto. Listen, listen, listen. We're not going full auto here. Playing it smooth. This dude won't hear me coming. For good. Should probably get mad. Damn it, you're never going full auto. That is a stupid idea. Good, he's almost dead. Shall we risk it? Yes. 
The Lord smiles upon you, brother. The Lord smiles upon you, brother. I love it. With certainty. Sup, player. Good, those two are heavily so. under stop. fire. Oh. <laughs> that was a good hit. And he hit tries to insult that. our mother. Puta. Doesn't help him. Here you go, flashbang. Nicely suppressed. Barry takes a minor hit. Okay, Barry takes another hit. Overwatch is so strong. Nah! Now I wanted to hit this guy. Alright, torso. I have no cover here! <laughs> Dorvidge clarifies the problem. Okay, single shotgun shot. Free movement. We're getting another free movement. Yeah. I will do. Free movement is a bit imbalanced. Um, Michael here. Pretty good odds, I think. Yeah, nice try. Good chance of me, um, not missing. Live wire here. This is no problem. That's one badass bitch! Good thing she's on our side! Thug for life! Alright, Thug for life. Show me your Thug for life. 128 crit. Alright. There you clear. We will do. Cool, what a good fight. No one is around to call it that. We're moving? We're moving. Mm. M24, what is that? That looks like a nice little sniper. Uh, 36 range, 36 ammo, uh, 36 uh, damage, 46, oh wow, okay, that's a bit better. Hmm. Nice weapon. Heavy stocks, moderate accuracy bonus. Okay. I like the th thermal scope here. More ammo. Ooh, that's great, UV dot. And silent attacks. 
Yeah, that's a nice little weapon. We need 10. We need a chip. 10, 10, 60. Another chip. Yeah, 200, about 200 parts. So let's keep that as our I do not know what it is, weapon of choice. We probably take it just in case we need it. Barry just got a level. So let's level him as well. <clears throat> Extra hit points. Grit went out of cover. I think Barry needs more movement specifically, so the free movement range would be helpful. Uh, we could also, since he has so much health, we wanted to go into grid and uh, and a lot of uh, the items here, right? So, interrupt attack when taking damage. Uh, that doesn't really fit the build too much. He takes, he oftentimes takes damage. And if he would uh, deal more damage, maybe the rage isn't too bad. This isn't bad either, but he's not prone that often, and we're not really having melee attacks with him either. Although his strength isn't that bad, but I didn't want to play him as a melee character. Explosives and shotgun, just like what uh, Breach and Clear does, right? So clearly you could go with flanked and then go all the way up here, but we wanted more specialized builds and I want to test the health uh, section. So it's either rage, which would be depending on the amount of wounds, 10, 20, 30 um, percent more damage. The interrupt doesn't really fit the build too much. I like the idea of more grit overall, specifically also with calm under fire. And that battle focus isn't bad either. Yeah, we don't need melee. The interrupt attack, not 100% sure. I think rage, I might not give rage enough credit. Sometimes in harder fights we do have wounds. And we need to go on. And oftentimes this is a free 10% damage buff. Because it's very easy to get a wound. And then with extra grit, that would cover for the missing hit points. I like the, uh, that damage reduction a lot. The whole position one is great, but it doesn't fit his build. He really needs a bit more movement, all things considered. Um, so if we were to go into agility, I like fro frog leaping with him uh, and lighter armor for more free movement range and then flanked enemies. That might be something but what would we do with him in, in this case? I want to build him as a tank. Him with agility wouldn't be bad either. But I want to stick with my original plan, right? So that is good. Uh, the shock assault is fantastic but requires more strength. So that would definitely be good. Uh, mm, cumbersome armor and uh, free movement range, that would work as well. But what would we go here? Line breaker, I can see that. So say if we were to go for 100 strengths, it would be shotgun and uh, ironclad and line breaker. If we want more defense, this would uh, be 10-20% damage. This is just higher crit damage. 
So I think this damage is about the same give and take if we're actually wounded. And then here you get AP and here you basically get free grit. I think we're going to stick with that and I'll go with rage for now. Just as a decent extra damage buff. Mary sure, we'll get there. Currently he does not have a wound, but so it's easy to get one. Go for glory. We should take a closer look at this. Moving toward destination. Oh, look at that. Couple of free uh, free sticks. So, what do you have to say for yourself? Look, we've just secured you. Good, it says here there is a treasure uh, hidden somewhere on the farm. What? Word up. We will do. And that's the rumor that we've heard. So let's see if we can find that treasure. We certainly have found some herbs. Plenty thereof. We outie. We move with certainty. Ready. What? Um, we're going, right? Good. Go it was just a rumor, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't we're be moving? a quest lock if moving. that rumor wouldn't be true. At least to some degree. Ready. If I was a treasure I would hide we'll here. Do. What? With that little teddy bear. Ready. Yes. <laughs> Heading out. Why would anyone put a teddy bear just randomly in the savannah? Okay. We'll get there. On our way. I think you can't just dig. Let's go. Heading out. <laughs> With certainty. Okay, nothing here. Ready. Going. Yes. Nothing here either. Let's go. Um, we're going, right? Objects of unknown value. Good, we got an Uzi, interesting. Well, off we go we'll and do. scrap that. Yes. All right, all right. But I can hardly believe that that um, is the treasure. Going, right? What? Yes. We will do. All right. There is a treasure hidden on the middle of the wherever farm. Ready. Yes. Out of curiosity, is there treasure search here? No. Scout area. How about the two of you are scouting? Train mercenaries. Now we don't need more health, but I think agility would be great. All right, that, and then we let you three train, start, and you two scout. All right, maybe that will hey, give us the intel. I learned something new today. Is 
shortly earn me a medal when completed. All right, does that help us? How quite a nice I finished scouting and found Intel for sector C4 and for Snoach uh, C7. And ice was severely mauled in the process. Well, great. Get right on it. In the meantime, you and you begin to scout and Hawkbite trains her in marksmanship for the time being. I'll get it done. Good. Kaliana arrived in Port Kakao. We now have the first time that we do have two squads, sort of. Um, and she can do some militia training, which is helpful. Good. This task will be easy for the brave. You have finished scouting, found intel, Savannah, 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 discovered info, a girl has been kidnapped. Okay, we know about that girl kidnapping, it's the second time that uh, it has told us that. Um, Let's go. Good, just waiting until everybody is healed up. And let's try again to find something inside of the camp. I'll give it another run and see if I can find something. All right, okay, I think uh, there is more than maybe one farm. I'm not 100% sure, but I couldn't really find it. Maybe there are others for now. All right. That's let's force it. ourselves to go over here. Ready. Arrived at the location. Okay, we're checking this one here, and then I think Hello. it's the end of uh, this episode. Covered a lot of ground. All right, all right. This looks like a touristy coast where people would take a swim. Oh, wait a second. Yes. Sea mines. I re With retract what I just said. Yes. Let us see what the Lord in his wisdom has given us. Oh, nice. So we're definitely having a lot of extra equipment. Look there. Nice. Great first aid. Love it. Mats are really fine. We're having so many because I was always cautious to heal up. Ammunition is so and so. I think we're doing okay, but not phenomenal. But we're lacking the parts. Maybe that is because I saved so many weapons. Ten more halls like this, and I'll bet I'll be able to pay off half my student loans. All to five. That's not bad. I mean, it's a four AP shotgun, as opposed to six AP. And we got a chip, which is good because I think we wanted some modifications, but we're not having the parts yet. So at least we got the chip. That's a good start. If you ask me. The president is. Have you met Captain Clermont? I never liked that before. This country needs strong leaders. Last month, if you ask me, the president is already dead. We do it. Good. It helps to talk to all of them. That's how I found out about some of the quests. You know what? Follow Let's push on. Do D4, and then it's the end of the episode.
but I can't auto resolve. Oh. All right, I suppose we're going to do a big fat solo defense with Catalia. Heavy rain and night. And we know the enemy comes from there and from there. Yeah, we're just going to go here. According to the fairy tales, we need an epic quest to do. It will bring us great fortune. Fuck. Can we buy weapons here? No. So one. she's just up with 15 shots. Okay, well, that way. sucks. When I was little, I would hide forever making this shot would be like something out of a fairy tale. I shall not make a noise. My babusia taught me to hunt this way. Promise you the marauders at some point will draw attention. Yep, right now. And there we go. The enemy has a significant numerical advantage. While aim mercenaries are famous for often pulling out seemingly impossible, remember that a tactical retreat. Yeah, tactical retreat my rear. Alright, end of turn. If they move in, we can snipe them. Show them our strength! Oh, look at that. That is an enemy. Okay, I see old Vinny is taking the brunt of the damage here. Whilst our elite mercenaries on the other hand, on the other side, should be able to get the dockyard cleared. But then again, it's just one guy. The others are standing back. The AI is so poor from time to time. I don't even know what to say. Like... They're not even walking as major pairs. Move, shoot, do something. Good, the junkyard knights are helping. And good old Mad Hannah wants to help her friend. <laughs> and Kalia the Cutter is running in. Lovely. Good. Plenty of... Uh, mm, kind of NPCs that are just trying to hit, uh, hit the enemies. Why wouldn't you stay on the rooftop? But the lead guys are hitting very, very well. Good surprise shot from here. Let's hit this guy. 
Good, he's severely wounded. That's as much as we can do in one turn. Okay, I'm not so worried about uh, the dogs. Yes, there might be an injured uh, defender here and there, but these guys are not hitting anything. This here is more worrisome. Uh, Probably other cutters are ready to soon move in. Well, Vinny might at some point. Who are these guys? They are good. Yeah, for Granny here at some point might not be able to make it. Mad Hannah. Now you need to hit the gunner. Okay, enough reinforcements are coming in. It's not a question whether they are going to win. It is more a question how decisive. It's interesting that you can't really auto-resolve, although it was a decisive win. I'm not 100% sure if hiring that one mercenary is worth it, but I figured it's better to have someone who can train the areas that are most recently attacked instead of always moving the entire group there, right? So that, that logic, I think, uh, still is very sound. Uh, Talia moves up. And just hides in cover. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Well. Oh, old Benny. The grannies are going down one after the other. I think that's the second one of them in this playthrough. Poke your head up. I dare you. Ah, nice, a completely wasted overwatch. This guy hits his own friend twice. Well, at least they killed one of them. The incompetence of uh, the AI is remarkable. Okay, as I say that, old Hana moves in and <laughs> actually hits three of them. Kalia the Cutter, on the other end, was already here, just moved back and forth and back and forth. Are you just falling prone again? Yeah, sometimes I think uh, the AI hasn't really fol uh, fully understood what to do. And this is already the highest difficulty, which kind of comes back to 
the philosophy about difficulty, right? I'm not a big fan if difficulty is only numerical improvements. Difficulty, I mentioned that in many of the videos, should really be about uh, an improvement of the actual mechanic, either more skills or a more comprehensive uh, utilization where the enemy is is better. This should do it. Well, and that was Katealdiana's uh, turn. Good job. Starter mercs are really something else. But on the other hand, the enemy isn't particularly doing a stellar job either. Wow. Okay. It's the first time that I see Granny in action. Oh yeah, she's indeed going to fuck them up. For boss, for a country. Oh, it does, it does. All right, Med Hannah. Throws another explosive. No. I have the villain in my sights. All right. It's interesting. She immediately reached level two, and of course, wants more money than after. He just overwatches into the corpse. Oh boy, the AI. The AI and the and its little quirks. How can this be? We are great heroes. Why did we fail in our quest? What? We did not fail in any quest. Oh boy. Understood. Old Vinny. Well, here's the good news. You got a full set of ammunition, second weapon, and you put stuff into squad supplies. I love a good walk. Are there any sweets for good little girls? Wow. Understood. On my way. In terms of money, I love a good walk. I think we're still buying a couple of grenades here. Not sure if we need heavy armor. I would buy one. And then that's pretty much it. Back to the sector. I'm not leveling her mainly because I am afraid that that would that would cost more money.
Um, how about split? Keep a little bit with her. I don't think that we need the machine gun. We're really seldomly using machine guns at this point. They just eat uh, too much ammunition. I mean, yeah, great, but literally too much ammo. But we got 170 NATO uh, standard rounds, it's good. And she can continue her operations there. In the meantime, we were over here. We are in no sector. I hope there is something for dry throat here. Good. And this will be Hello. the end of today's episode. Finally, finally. It's a long one because we had the defense. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy Jack the Lion's 3 content, feel free to leave here. a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.